It is possible to make PCBs with a laser engraver, with a power of only 20 watt, of course, and the result is very similar to the professional one. With this engraver we can also make silk screens for a complete job. A perfectly functioning electronic circuit that we can use to turn on, off the lights in our house through a button. Let's see together how to make a PCB with the Xtool F1 Ultra Laser Engraver, an engraver that mounts a dual laser, a diode laser with a wavelength of 450 nanometers and a second fiber laser that allows us to engrave on all metals and also remove copper from the copper-plated board. We will use the Stoll software to create our PCB and take a circuit from the web. Once the PCB is downloaded we need to transform it into vectors for better printing resolution. Very important, you have to mirror the image to avoid having the circuit upside down. Now we need to bring the drawing back to its original size. Now we need to put the drawing perfectly in the center of the work surface, this way we will get a better quality. The fiber laser does not work with the laser beam perpendicular so, we have a smaller area. These are the optimal parameters that I found after many tests. Once the right parameters are found, we can start the engraving process with more steps. It is recommended to perform alternate horizontal and vertical scans for optimal copper removal. I did not find this function in the Stoll software. However, even with only horizontal scans, the result was excellent. Now we need to draw the solder mask, basically we need to create areas to free the copper from the paint. In this way it will be possible to then carry out the tinning. It is a bit of a long process because I am using the light burn tools. The silk screen is very important because in this way we can know where to put the right component and also its orientation. To protect the circuit, use a yellow spray can. A light coat is sufficient, the important thing is to see the tracks. Now we can start the solder mask etching process by positioning the board in the exact spot as before. I used a square to get a perfect positioning. Finally the circuit is completed and the soldering areas have been freed from spray paint. Now you need to make the holes using a very small cutter or a drill bit. I recommend cutting the board to size once the PCB and solder mask creation process is complete. The Stoll F1 Ultra is a dual laser so we can use two different wavelengths. I am designing the silk screen for easy positioning of the components. It is not essential as a procedure, but since we also have a diode laser, I want to show you that we can also silk screens. With silk screens your PCB will look more professional and you can have a reference for the positioning of the components. These are the optimal parameters to make these incisions without ruining the electronic board. This operation is very important because the card has been cut so we have to center it in reference to the preview. If you are not precise, the writing could be all staggered. The engraving you are seeing was made with the diode laser because it has a better marking. The result is truly professional and without using chemical components for copper removal. Now we need to mount all the components. Have you seen how important the silk screen is? 
In this way we know where to place all the components in their exact position. The components have all been mounted, now we need to do the tinning. I am very satisfied with the final result, even doing the tinning was very easy and fun. I insert the integrated circuit in the 555 and then I can finally try the circuit. When I press the button, the integrated circuit will turn on the relay permanently. To turn off the relay, just press the button again. If you want to control this circuit remotely, there is a terminal block for connecting an external button. But let's see the circuit in its real use, turning a 230 volt lamp on and off using a button. This small circuit allows you to turn a single lamp on and off from many points without using electrical switches or inverters. It is the first time that I make a PCB with a fiber laser engraver that has a power of only 20 watts. This is the Stoll F1 Ultra model that I was lucky enough to review and I must say that compared to the previous model, they have made a big step forward. The packaging and wrapping are of the highest level, like all the Stoll products that I have tried. They have increased the power and improved the management through a display with a start button and preview. They have also increased the work area. In the package you will also find some samples of both metal and wood to do your first tests. In the next video I will show you a truly spectacular optional object a conveyor belt that will automatically engrave through the aid of a camera. In fact, the software will recognize the object and adapt the drawing or writing on it automatically. I consider it one of the best dual laser engravers I have ever tried. If you want to see it in action with color engravings on all metals, like the video and let me know in the comments if you also like this laser machine.